Good morning. I hope everyone is doing well. My name is Kristen Johnson and I am the proud owner of the Free Wheelers. A little bit of background information about this company. This is a startup company that creates 3D printed carbon fiber bikes. Up until the third quarter, I've been using my own funding to fund the company. This company shows a ton of promise, so I'm seeking $2.5 million in equity funding in order to execute this business plan. Okay, our mission at the Free Wheelers is to create carbon fiber bicycles that improve the overall well-being of our customers while also having fun and not spending a fortune. Our objectives at the Free Wheelers is to earn customer trust and business every day, act with integrity in everything we do, treat everyone fairly and value diversity, be accountable for our actions, win as a team, give back to the community, offer excellent customer service, create shareholder value, build strong relationships, embrace the entrepreneurial spirit, be a good corporate citizen, and deliver value to all stakeholders. Okay, here are our target segments. They're listed from the highest priority to the lowest priority. They're prioritized based off of how profitable they are. So we have recreation ranked in first place. Second is mountain. Third is speed. So under re recreation, we have Shamu and Flipper. Flipper was added uh, in addition to Shamu based off of a customer survey that was done on Shamu. And some of the customers requested additional features that we could not provide to Shamu. So it was best to just create a whole different bicycle. The customers were satisfied with the majority of what Shamu offered. So we were able to add those some of those features to Flipper with the addition to what the customers wanted. So if you look at our target segments and our quarter two and quarter three sales, it can be a bit contradicting. However, don't worry. Our manufacturing and sales department collaborated and used customer surveys to revamp the recreational bikes. So if you look at the demand for Shamu, which is a recreational bike, it was zero. And then again in quarter three, the net demand for Shamu was also zero. But we took the surveys created from customers for Shamu and created Flipper based off what they thought they wanted and they thought was uh, a priority for the bicycle. And we applied that to Flipper. And if you look, it took the lead in quarter three. So, our sales revenue tripled from quarter two to quarter three based off this little tweak. We're confident at the Free Wheelers that if we apply the same attention to the mountain and speed bikes as we did to the recreational bikes, our sales will skyrocket. Looking at our financial performance, I know this can seem like a red flag, but let me explain. We invested in a lot that would not reflect in quarter three. So for an example, all of our bikes come with a warranty from the tires to the handlebars all the way to the brakes. This is something we felt was important to invest in early so that we can gain customer trust. We also purchased surveys for the customers as well as the employees so that we understand what we're doing wrong and how to fix it early versus way down the road. Some issues that we had were we put our manufacturing department at max capacity. With that being said, we also put our machines at max capacity, which created issues requiring us to hire additional staff to fix the machines. And our advertisements were not triggered to the correct audience, and we've made minor adjustments as well. We were also a little unfamiliar with the uh, market in Bangalore and Rio. We also looked at some of our surveys and determined our prices were not very competitive. We are very, 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 very confident that our early investments and minor adjustments will be enough to increase our overall performance. 
Now I want you to direct your attention to the SWOT analysis when we'll just dive right in. Let's look at the strengths. One of the strengths is our reputation amongst customers. This was based off of our surveys that we received from our customers. Also our warranty. So we have one of the best warranties in all of our competition. It covers the bicycle for five years from the tires to the brakes, uh, even the pedal. So for an example, in Rio, we had a customer that his pedal broke and he was able to fill out the form and take it in and they were able to replace the pedal for him. Some of our weaknesses, so one is creating demand. This is just something that we're, we don't have a strength in at this time. Uh, we've hired on some people who we feel like will contribute in that and help us in that area. Also Shamu. Now I feel like we just, we were not very creative when we created Shamu. We just didn't have the knowledge to create uh, an appealing bicycle to our targeted audience. We've since hired on many employees that uh, this is their specialty. So if you look at Flipper, that was a result of hiring on employees that can design a bicycle that's appealing to our customers. Our opportunity right now is our, it's the economy. Uh, the economy is booming. I know, for example, in Bangalore, they are having a problem with uh, getting cars right now in the dealership, so everyone's buying bicycles to, for transportation is, issues. So that's a huge opportunity for us right there. Some of the threats is quality control. We have made tons of adjustments in this area as well. We have very, very, very rigorous training from our marketing to manufacturing to our sales department. Everybody is going to have extremely rigorous training. Also, our, is, uh, another threat is our knowledge deliver. So I feel like a, tr a contributor to this was low salaries for our employees. Um, and they went to, we don't have that a ton of competitors, but if they were to go to a different company, this would be an issue because we've trusted our employees with all of the knowledge about our bicycles. But we've increased our salaries and we're going to provide a, a very, very beefy healthcare plan that covers everything from dental to vision that will help them stay as well. We're on the right path to make Freewheelers one of the best companies to work for, as well as one of the best companies for bicycles. With the additional 2.5 million, this will provide us with the essential tools to make the Freewheelers the best company in Bangalore and Riyadh. Now, let me address our investment plan. We plan on investing and in revamping our ads to attract more customers. This will be like um, the Olympics. We plan on buying um, time for the Olympics during the commercial times. We plan on increasing our sales revenue. We plan on increasing our staff in all stores to help quality control in both Bangalore and Rio. But we also plan on uh, opening a new store in New York, but we'll address that later. We also plan on providing strategic training to all staff members. Our main marketing goal for the upcoming quarters is to shorten our ads while adding creative, captivating ads featuring our endorsers. As previously stated, we also plan on buying commercial time during the Olympics. Lance Armstrong's team has also showed interest in endorsing the free wheelers, so another strategy would be to secure his endorsement. Now let's shift gears and talk about the sales channel strategy. This is something I am most excited about. We have detailed plans on opening new stores in New York City and Amsterdam. With a growing business, we would also be adding staffing. With the additional staffing also comes rigorous training. Our human resource strategy is to make our employees feel like a part of our family. After surveys, 
turnover ratios in multiple staff meetings, it has come to our attention that we need some improvements. We plan on increasing salaries to all full-time employees, increasing our health care coverage. Right now, we just cover the basic. We plan on providing full coverage. We also plan on providing two-week vacation to full-time employees. Right now, we only offer one week. We also plan on increasing pension from 3% to 5%. Those last two bullet points, it has it was not raised um, in the faculty meetings or in our surveys, but we feel like adding those two additional will make it even better. Our biggest concern at the beginning of each quarter was our available fixed and operating capacity. If you look at our lost cells, we had no way of satisfying the, the demand coming our way. This created a bit of a problem because we were creating as much product as possible, but we also had unfulfilled orders resulting in angry customers. We added to our fixed capacity as quickly as possible. We will continue to address this in the future. Okay, drum roll please. Now what you've all been waiting for. I'm going to go over the investment plan and inform you on why the free wheelers needs 2.5 million and how we're going to use it when we receive it. As previously stated, we have the overall best research and design team and all members have agreed on one thing and one thing alone. Our competitors offer nothing more than a two wheel machine. This presents our opportunity to take control over the industry and exceed our in our customers wants and needs. So by doing so, we will cross train employees to work on multiple tasks within, within their department. So no more, I mean, I'd help you, but I don't know how to turn a wrench. We will also train operators to detect errors and adjust mis machines so they produce within their tolerance. So no more, okay, so I can see that they're in the third gear, this chain pops off and when it's going inclining, when it's inclining up a hill, uh, it wants to tilt back. We will train our operators to be able to adjust the production of the bike so that this doesn't happen. We will add car carriers to recreational bikes created in Rio and Bangalore. So during some of our surveys, they've said that they don't have anything to carry the materials whenever they're uh, transporting groceries or going to work. So we want to add that. Also, wider tires for the mountain bikes. One of the uh, concerns was it's not steady on rocks and hills going down mountains and up mountains. So this will also provide a thicker tire to also support um, damage to the tire. We also plan on selling 1 million, maybe 1.2 million additional equity to our investors. So after addressing those strategies, I would like to talk about the anticipated benefits. One would be better financial status as well as improve worker motivation and improve production. Now I would like to expand on four actionable steps I plan on taking. If you remember on the tactical plan, our demand versus staffing was a problem. So we really want to tackle the sales channel strategy. We want to increase our staffing in the currently open stores in Bangalore and Rio and provide the best motivational yet rigorous training. While doing this, we also want to open new stores in New York City and Amsterdam. Our faculty and staff at Free Wheelers are our number one priority, aside from our customers. We want to provide the most competitive salaries while also providing the, most, the best health coverage. If you look back at the tactical plan, some of the issues came from low staffing as well as overworked staff. So by adding more staff, offering better benefits, I'm confident we can prevent the majority of our issues. 
I appreciate you taking the time to listen. I hope that you uh, strongly consider the $2.5 million investment. And I hope you have a great evening. Thank you for listening.